Recording in progress. Hi, everybody. Welcome to tonight's 45 minute practice. I'm really glad you're here. This is, we're calling it an anti sit practice, which I did not come up with. One of my friends who teaches yoga did a class that she called the anti sit practice, and it was all full of stuff that kind of counters the postures we're in while we're sitting for a long time and both like stretches and strengthens things that are neglected when we spend a lot of time in that shape. So great idea for a yoga class. I was very inspired by her. So we're going to do the same. So it's going to be focus on the hips, um, kind of moving them into internal and external rotation, stretching the quads. We're going to be activating the glutes and hamstrings quite a bit. And then lots of good opening across the front of the chest, which also, as you might recall, means strengthening the upper back. So it's a pretty well-rounded flow, but we are going to put a focus on those. And I've had a stressful day. So I'm making the theme of this class like absorbing peacefulness because that is what I've been trying to do all day long. So if that doesn't resonate with you today, you're invited to focus on whatever sort of a like energetic theme suits what you need today. But that's kind of what I'll be speaking to. So this preamble is almost over. There is a link below if you want to follow along to a playlist. I'm about to press play. We don't need to be perfectly synced up. It's just like kind of a vibe to guide you through the practice. And get started uh, laying down on your back in your favorite grounding position. I'm going to go into reclined bound angle pose or Supta Baddha Konasana with my feet touching and knees open wide. If you've got blocks or props, you might use them um, underneath the, the knees or the backs of the thighs, no matter what shape you're in. And if you're feeling like your low back needs a little bit more support today, bring your feet wide, knees knocking in together. Lots of options, settle into the shape that feels right to you. And just give yourself a moment to drop into this moment in time. Feel your body, feel yourself in the space that you're in. You can close your eyes if that feels okay or just soften your gaze downward. See if you can sense into the walls, the ceiling around you. Notice sensations of the air against your skin, the temperature in the room. Take a moment to acknowledge any big feelings that may have followed you onto your mat. Maybe just kind of an energetic sense of whatever you're working with today. Just take a moment to honor that, acknowledge that. We're not here to fix it, but to see it, allow it, and move with it. Acknowledge any busyness in the mind. It can be hard to stop when we've been going, going, going. Draw a little more attention to your breath here, just observing the way it's moving through your body. Notice where you feel it physically. And see if you might use your breath to bring a little more peacefulness and softness to this moment. That might look different for all of us. Maybe for you, it looks like an inhale and like a sigh out the mouth. <sighs> Maybe horse lips expel a little extra energy. Or maybe big steady in and out breaths feel grounding and peaceful to you. Work with whatever feels right. And as you work with that breath, allow yourself to feel the breath nourishing you and draw your attention to all the different places you're making contact with the ground beneath you. 
and tune into that little bit of feedback, gravity pressing your body down and the earth rising up to meet you, supporting you here. And give yourself just a couple more moments here, breathing with intention, softening your body down and allowing yourself to be held and supported. Relax the skin of your face, softening the tongue, the jaw. And then these last couple of moments here, maybe you draw attention to your heart center, allowing a little more softness and warmth to cultivate through the chest cavity. And when you're ready, actually, if you want to just stay like this for all of class, this is the most yoga thing that you could do. But if you're ready to wake up a little, start to move, just reach your arms back overhead, stretch your legs long, give yourself a big stretch. And then in your own time, press yourself up to a seat. You can sit cross-legged. You want to sit in hero's pose. You might bring one of your blocks in between your feet, you're sitting on your, or on your knees and then sitting back. You might even do two blocks like so. We're not gonna be here for too long. So seated some way that's comfy for you. Draw your spine up nice and tall and just drop the left ear to the left shoulder. Breathe in and breathe out. Drop the chin down to the chest, feeling the length along the back of your neck and then gently bring right ear to right shoulder. You can move the jaw around, find a little movement through the neck if that feels good, and just start to move between these shapes with your breath, chin to chest, ear to shoulder, keeping the spine nice and long, shoulder blades ever so slightly pinched together behind you, so we're keeping the chest open. A couple more rounds. Good, nice job. If you're sitting cross-legged, uh, actually everybody, bring your head to center, lift your head to neutral. If you're sitting cross-legged, switch the cross of your legs. We're gonna find some side bends here, bring a little activation to the core, just some movement through the side bodies. Breathe in, reach your arms up high. As you exhale to the right, big side bend, rainbow up and over. Inhale, come to center. And exhale to the left. Good, find some movement here, inhale center. Exhale to the right, inhale center, exhale other side. Keep this movement going. It might make more sense for you to breathe in at a different time and breathe out at a different time. That's all good. But start to tune into the way that your breath powers your movements. See if you can make your movements a little more graceful and soft using the entirety of the breath to finish that movement. This is the part where I tell you that we're like little pieces of seaweed in the water. And Carl asked for a clarification on that. It's like when a wave comes, the seaweed that's stuck to the bottom of the floor, it's kind of like, whoosh, like this, you know, like a wave is washing over you. I don't know, it really works for me. All right, finish up evening out your side. So when you've done your last set, we'll come back to center. And we're gonna come sit flat on our buns on the ground. So if you were in hero's pose, set that block off to the side for now, send your legs long in front of you, like just a little spaghetti legs moment, shaking out through the legs. Spread your legs a little, little wider, find some, just some like floppy internal, external rotation with the feet, some circles with the ankle. If you've been sitting all day like I have, these poor ankles are just, they're just catching all the blood that's draining straight to them. So a little bit of movement. All right. Now keep your legs wide, as wide as feels good. Bring your feet, your bottoms of your feet onto the floor. Hands are behind you, supporting you. If it's a little tough reach, use your block. You're kind of using them like stilts underneath your hand. We want the chest to be lifted here. Take a breath in. As you exhale, drop the knees off to one side. Inhale, center. 
Exhale, knees off to the other side. Continue with this movement here, just windshield wipering with the legs, keeping the breath steady. And maybe this is plenty. The hips are feeling a little tight, a little crunchy today. You wanna to really focus here. If you wanna bring a little bit of a twist to the thoracic spine, the mid back. Next time your legs go off to one side, reach your arm in that direction like you're reaching for a glass of water just a little too far away. And then back to center, over to the other side, reaching. And back to center, good. Let's do a couple more rounds of this. You're moving on your own, staying connected to the breath. Good, two more rounds each side. I could do this all day, all day. Nice job, even out your sides. When you return to center, we're gonna find tabletop. So on all fours, two options if your wrists are feeling like they don't want to be, uh, like have them on the ground right here, you can do fists. You might notice that I do this a lot. This might still not be what you're looking for and you have two blocks. You can bring your blocks onto whatever height feels good and then do forearms onto blocks. This not only takes all the pressure off your wrists, but as you push your arms down and keep the chest lifted, your shoulders are gonna get a really nice workout. So maybe you try one of those today. Just start to find some movement in the spine that feels natural to you here. Maybe you're tipping the tailbone up, finding cow and cat. Maybe you're like, you know, I heard someone describing this as jump roping the spine the other day, like sort of this like undulation from side to side. I'm setting a timer for a whole minute. I want you to just explore organic movement through the spine. Maybe you're like popping back to child's pose a little bit. If it feels okay to close your eyes, let your breath and your intuition guide your movement for the next 52 seconds. A little over halfway, keep the breath going, keep finding movement that feels good. Good, start to round out your movement. We'll meet together in a static tabletop in four, in three, two, and one tabletop is where we meet. I forgot to say this at the start of class. If you wanna cushion your knees, you can grab a blanket of any kind. You can also double fold your mat underneath you to provide a little more cushion. I'm going the blanket route. All right, so we are in all fours, tabletop position. We're gonna do some bird dogs here. This is where we're gonna to start to activate the core and the glutes, so get ready, this is gonna be fun. Send your left toes back, right arm forward. As you take a breath in, lift the left leg up and long with your hips. And as you exhale, elbow to knee underneath you, squeeze, crunch your core. Inhale, extend, reach long. Gently rotate your left inner thigh up towards the sky, feel your hamstring engage, exhale, elbow to knee. Good, three more, inhale, lengthen, activate your glute, your inner thigh. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, great control. Exhale, elbow to knee, last one, you got it. Inhale, lengthen, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee. Set your hands on the ground, send the legs straight back, still lifted. Kick your bottom of your foot up towards the ceiling like you could stamp your foot on the ceiling. And we're gonna find five glute pulses. This isn't about speed. It's about going slow enough for feeling it burn. Three, hoo, hoo, hoo. four, you're doing amazing. And five, good. Now set your foot down. You can glide back and forth on this heel, just kind of getting into the ankle and to the calf. And we're gonna do one more. So lift the same leg back up. 
bend your knee. We're drawing circles with the knee, trying to aim the knee towards the elbow, big, slow circles. We're gonna do three in each direction. If your outer hip is screaming, mine is screaming so loud, it's drowning out the sound of your screaming outer hip switch direction. It's just a chorus of screaming glute muscles. All right, last one, finish strong. A delicious stretch is coming, it's coming. Send the left leg long. Now cross it over your other leg. So your right leg is going, your left leg is going off towards the right. Start to sink your butt back and glance over your right shoulder. It might feel good here to keep gliding back and forth, but this should be a nice release for the right glute and outer hip. Whew. And back to center, and we're gonna do this on the other side. So, other leg. You're doing amazing. All right, we've got all fours here. We're sending the right leg straight back. Left arm goes forward. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Kick, kick, kick your foot away from you. Toes are flexed back towards your shin. One more breath in. Exhale, elbow to knee underneath you with great control. Nice job. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch. Three more. Inhale, lengthen. Activate the glute. Use hamstring strength. Exhale, elbow to knee. Two more. You got this. Inhale. And exhale, last one, here we go. Inhale, long and strong. Exhale, crunch. Good, hands come to the earth, send the right leg long again. Bend the knee, kick the ceiling. Five glute lifts. We're not bringing the knee all the way down. We're bringing it, you know, like in line, we're trying to bring it in line with the rest of the leg. So we're really extending up. That was three, Woo four. Ooh, five, nice. All right, on to all fours. Give yourself a little break. Might feel good to glide through that leg, bringing a little movement to the ankle and calf. Who planned this class? I'm just kidding, it was me. All right, lift the right leg. Last little push here. Bend the knee, start to draw those circles with the knee best you can, slow as you can, as big as you can. We're doing three in each direction. Woo All right, switching directions. Ugh, keep breathing. Sometimes when you least wanna breathe while moving is when the breath is most important for bringing you that power you're looking for, that stability. All right, last one, and then the stretch. Woo All right, right leg is long. Crosses over to the left. Sink the hips back any amount and start to find whatever sort of movement enables that outer hip release. Whew. Nice job. All right, meet me in child's pose. I'm not gonna make child's pose harder in a weird way. We're just gonna like hang out for a quick second. Melt your forehead down, fingertips crawl forward, knees are as wide as feels good. Take a moment to scan your body. Take note of what's feeling tight or rigid, sticky, painful. Take four breaths and imagine that you're sending that breath directly to that area. Sending that area peacefulness and ease. Nice job. All right, when you're all ready, we're gonna press up onto all fours. We've got one more uh, little sequence on the ground and then we'll get standing. If you have a blanket or something to cushion your knees, you might bring it back. We're gonna do a little gate pose flow, so more standing on the knees. Bring your blocks in front of you. Send your right leg out long to the side. And for this first one, we're gonna be Sinking the hips back. You can tuck your back toes to keep them untucked, whatever feels right. 
and we're sinking the hips back. So this might feel like a really nice stretch through the right inner thigh. If it's uncomfortable to have your leg, your toes pointing forward, but your side of your heel, you know, if you foot like this, point your toes away from you. Maybe you can even pop up the heel. See if one of those might feel better, but we're just right here bringing a little bit of, a little bit of movement. Keep the right leg active so it doesn't hyperextend if you're someone who's prone to hyperextending your knees. All right, when you've done your last little glide here, we're gonna just come to standing. Bring one of your blocks over to the left side. We're gonna use it again in a minute. And take this long right leg and we're gonna bend it like it's in like a baby warrior two. So toes are pointing straight away from you. Thigh is parallel to this long edge of your mat or parallel-ish. Bring your right hand inside of your right thigh. Just want a little bit of feedback here, a little bit of press of the hand into the leg, leg into the hand. Bring one hand to your hip, take a breath in. And as you exhale, just glide forward. It's okay that the knee is going over the ankle. And as you exhale, push back. Inhale, finding this little side lunge here. And then exhale, strong push back up. Let's do three more. Nice. All right, when you return to center, we're gonna send the leg along again. So like it was at the beginning, toes can either be popped up or pinky edge to the short edge of the mat. Take a big breath in, reach high. Exhale, bend towards your long leg. Inhale, center, connect to your core here. Exhale, down to the block. So left hand or left fist on the block, big side stretch the other way. Connect to your core, lift yourself up. Inhale all the way into the stretch. And exhale all the way down with control. Hips are helping stabilize the core here too. Let's do one more. Inhale all the way up. And exhale down just for a moment. Last time coming up here, inhale. And as you exhale, we're gonna stay down this time. You can keep the block underneath the hand or you might not need it. You can stay here and just enjoy this really nice stretch through the side of the body, through the chest for a little bit of a challenge. You can find baby half moon where you lift the right leg up. This is a lot for the outer hips. We've been warming them up a little, but it might still not feel great. If you're going for it, keep this leg long and strong. So your quad is turned on, toes are flexed back towards the shin, Heel is kicking away from your body like you could like donkey kick this wall next to you. And option to stay like this or find a little tiny pulse up, up, oh my gosh, up, up for four, for three, you got it for two. And one, lower your leg to the ground, push yourself back up. Let's do it on the other side. Blocks are in front of you. We're sending the left leg out this time hands on the blocks, blocks comes at all sorts of heights, and we're sinking the hips back any amount and rocking them forward. It might feel good to kind of like do cat and cow in your spine. So you're like tipping the tailbone up as you come forward, lowering it as you go down. I don't know. This is um, your time to kind of explore, see what, see what feels right. Take a couple more rounds of this, couple more breaths. Good. Next time you're back to center, let's press ourselves all the way up. Bring one of your blocks off towards the right side, setting up for the next time we go down low. And then we're gonna find this little warrior two shape in the left leg. So knee is tracking over the like middle toe of this foot, not sickled in. If anything, it might be a little out. We're working external rotation of this hip, hand to thigh, find a little feedback. And then as you inhale, ease into a little lunge as much as feels good. Then exhale to come out. This is another place where the inhales and exhales might 
like work differently for you that neither is wrong or right. So continue to do this on your own. If this really doesn't feel good in the knees, pick one of the other shapes, spend a little bit of time finding something that feels better. Couple more. Keeping the breath full, purposeful. Good, next time you come back to center, straighten the leg one more time. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, bend towards the long leg. Good, inhale, center. Exhale, down towards the ground or the block with control. Let's find a flow, inhale, center, and all the way up. Exhale, center, and all the way down. Core is on, hips are working, inhale, center and up. Exhale, center and down. Last one, you got it. Inhale, lift up, find the stretch. And then this time, as you exhale, we stay down. Enjoy this static stretch. Find a little movement that feels right to you. Or there's the option to lift the left leg up this time. You might notice right away one of your hips, not as strong as the other hip. Totally normal, worth noticing, nothing wrong with you. Maybe you just spend a little bit of extra time strengthening the hip that you notice is weaker. That's what I'm doing. It's this hip for me. Fun fact. All right, this is me just talking to kill time while we held this for a little while. You're doing amazing. If you need breaks, you can come right down. If you're like, no, I'm gonna strengthen my weaker hip. Find these little pulses up, 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 up. Good for four, for three. Don't stop for two. You got it. Just one and down. Back to center. Class is over. Just kidding. Downward facing dog. Whew. My time management is going much better. I figured out a new system for myself in case you were, in case you were curious. How's Abby doing with her time management? She's not doing great but she's working on it. All right, we are in downward facing dog, pedaling out through the legs. Remember to spread your fingers wide. Index fingers point forward. So hands are actually slightly rotated out. Push into the earth, grip at the mat with your finger pads. Squish the knuckles that connect your fingers to your palm down into the mat. And with that little suction cup of the hand, find a little more leverage to push, strengthening through the shoulders, relax your neck. Maybe give it a little wiggle side to side, a little yes and no. Good, we're gonna find some movement, start to increase the heart rate here. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, walk your hands back to your feet, walk your hands back. Bend the knees generously. Inhale, rise all the way up to stand, fingertips high. Exhale, W arm back bend. Drop the elbows, lift up through the chest. Good. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, bend the knees, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway, find a long straight spine. Exhale, high plank, crawl your arms out, high plank. Option to drop to your knees at any time, take a breath in. As you exhale, walk the hands back towards your feet. We're moving through down dog. Let's do this three more times. Inhale, rise up high. Exhale, W arm back bend. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold with soft knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank, walk it out. Stay for your breath in, charge up your body. Exhale, walk it back, hands come to feet. That was one, let's do two more, inhale, rise. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, high plank, walk it out. Stay for your breath in, powerful. Exhale, walk the hands back, forward fold at the back of your mat. Last time through, inhale, rise. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, arms high. 
Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, high plank. Stay for the breath in, charge up. Exhale, walk the hands back, forward fold. Good, this time grab one of your blocks. Next time you breathe in and come up, just bring the block with you. All right, we're gonna work on some more glute strength here. So we have the block, we're squeezing it in between our thighs. So face the front of your mat or the back of your mat if you've just completely changed the orientation with which you're doing this class. All right, so we're squeezing the block in between our thighs. And I want you to, while you're squeezing this block, kind of tilt your pelvis forward and backwards. So one feels like you're doing this like Kardashian butt thing. One is tucking the tailbone underneath. And I want you to do this a couple times so that you can identify for yourself what feels like neutral for you. And then settle into a neutral pelvis. Strengthen your legs, hug the block, take a breath in, reach your arms up high. As you exhale, chair pose with chair plane arms, send the fingertips back. We're dumping, or not dumping the hips, we're reaching the hips back, back, back. Good, inhale, lift the arms, strengthen your legs, reach high. And exhale, sit down into your chair plane. Good, think about your glutes here this whole time. Inhale, rise. Exhale, sit back, glutes turn on. Let's do three more, you're doing great. Inhale, rise. Exhale, just like a little squat, you know? Two more, inhale. Exhale, sit back, open the chest. Inhale, rise. Exhale, chair, this time stay. This time we're gonna hold the chair, we're just gonna move the arms. So readjust the block if you need to. We're shifting weight towards the heels. Actively turn on your hamstrings, actively turn on your glutes, feel your tummy hug up and in, supporting the low back here. Last little thing, bring your hands to your thighs. I understand you're squeezing the thighs in, but I want you to energetically also push the thighs out. You're creating this bracing feeling through your strong legs. Now reach your arms up and forward, breathe in. Exhale, chair plane arms, lift up through the chest. Tailbone might tip up a little bit. Good. Inhale, sink as low as you can. Reach. Exhale, chair plane arms. Lift the chest. Three more. You can do it. Inhale. And exhale. Yes. Inhale, sink to your deck. Exhale, open your heart. Last one. You can do it. Inhale. Exhale, lift the chest. Good. Inhale, rise all the way up. Release the block. Exhale, spike the block on the ground. Just kidding, but you can if you want. All right, actually, we're gonna move on to the next, next little part. You want both of your blocks at the front of your mat. So if you spiked it and it rolled away, go get it. Blocks are at the front of your mat on whatever height. Mine are gonna be on the highest height. Take a big breath in, reach up high. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to block. Exhale, step the left foot back. Step the left foot straight back. Good, before we move on, find a little dynamic movement here between a lunge and straightening the front leg. You've got the blocks to help support you. This shouldn't be, this isn't about finding like a really strong lunge forward. You're just rocking here. Checking in with the front of the left hip and the back of the right leg. Good, keep breathing. Nice. Good, all right, next time you come back to neutral, we're gonna move into warrior two. As you inhale, pivot the back foot down, reach the arms up high. We're finding that same bend into the front knee that we had when we were kneeling. And this time we're thinking about trying to scrunch the mat up beneath us. So both legs are so strong. It's like you could, yeah, you could just create this like really uncomfortable mat situation where now it's not in front of you, it's all crumpled up beneath you, so strong. <laughs> Send your arms out long, breathe in here. Exhale, extended side angle. You might rest the arm on your thigh, find a big reach. Keep the leg, inhale, reverse warrior. We're stretching the other way. This might feel familiar. We just did it in gate pose. Inhale, warrior two. 
Exhale, extended side angle one more time through. Inhale, reverse warrior, keep the lunge. I know the legs are tired. And exhale, warrior two. Good, straighten the front leg. Inhale, reverse triangle, reach up, up, up. As you exhale, all toes point to the long edge of your mat, swoop the arm down, come into a big fold. Option to grab for your blocks. That helps bring the earth a little closer. And your choice, what happens here? Maybe you're finding some twists, reaching one arm up high. Maybe you're finding these little lateral lunges, sinking your butt back, finding more of that opening through the inner thighs. Wherever you are, keep breathing. Good, inhale, find a halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge towards your right foot, towards the right foot. Inhale, step back, high plank. Exhale, drop to your knees, lower to your belly with control. Keep your toes tucked or push your toenails into the mat, up to you. As you inhale, cobra pose, peel your chest up and off the ground. Elbows cricket together behind you, back of the neck is long, breathe in. Exhale, lower. Three more like that. Inhale, cobra, strong back, hips are heavy. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra, drag your heart forward. Exhale, lower, last one. Inhale, keep the back of your neck long. Exhale, lower, good job. Inhale, table tuck. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, walk to the top of your mat. Make sure your blocks are up at the top. Inhale, lift halfway, hands to block. Exhale, step the right foot back this time, stepping the right foot back. We're just gonna repeat that little sequence on this side. And then we're gonna, then we're gonna chill out and stretch and we're gonna be done really soon. So like your hands are on stilts, you can move these blocks further back. Start to find this rocking motion between the lunge, the straight left leg. Remember to sink your breath with movement best you can. Good, one more round through. Good, when you're done, come back to a neutral lunge. Inhale, warrior two, spin the back foot down, cartwheel your arms open, lifted and proud chest. Find that activation through the legs. Adjust your feet as you need to. Front knee is pointed over the middle-ish toe towards the pinky toe. Squeeze your heels together, good. Lift up through your chest. Corset your whole core in here, inhale. Exhale, extended side angle. Rest the left arm, reach. Keep the legs, inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, warrior two, back to center. One more time through, inhale. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, warrior two. Good, straighten the left leg. Inhale, reverse triangle. Keep squeezing your heels together. Exhale, turn your toes to face the long edge, maybe slightly in, toes inward and wide leg forward fold. Find whatever it is you need on this side. Keep using your breath as a tool to intentionally cultivate some sort of a state you're looking to find, whether that's a state of peacefulness, of groundedness, of power or of fire. The intention behind your breath is a really powerful mechanism and I encourage you to play around with it, see how it works for you. Good, couple more rounds here.
Good. Inhale, halfway lift in the spine. Exhale, lunge towards the left foot. Inhale, high plank, step back. As you exhale, lower to your knees, come all the way down. Toes tucked or untucked. Inhale, the first of four cobras. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra, loop the shoulders up and back. Neck is long. Exhale, lower. Think about using your glutes to lift your chest. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, lower, last one. Breathe in, drag your heart forward. Exhale, lower. Inhale, press up to tabletop. Exhale, child's pose. Sink the hips back, forehead to the earth. Find any movement that feels good here. For a little extra grounding, bring a block right under your forehead. And find a little windshield wiper motion. Pressing the eyebrows, the third eye, the other eyebrow. Just allowing yourself to turn inward to find a little more peacefulness and calm. As we transition into this last little bit of our practice here, take a moment to acknowledge your effort. Notice any heat moving through the body, any changes you can observe, whether in your mood, your mental state. Frankly, I feel better. And it's okay if you don't notice a difference. And if this eyebrow massage is like everything you've been wanting all day, you can keep going as long as you want to. If you're ready to move on to some more stretches, we're going to have a seat on our butts. We're going to revisit the windshield wiper and the reach. We did a lot of work for the hips today. So arms come behind you, feet are wide. Drop the knees off to one side. Maybe you find that reach. Notice if you feel any sort of a shift through the hips, through the glutes. Maybe the chest and the back are feeling a little more spacious and open. Maybe the breath is just a little easier to find after almost 45 minutes of finding it on purpose. Finish up one more on each side. And when you come back to center, we'll find figure four stretch. So bring your right ankle on top of the left knee. Toes flex back towards your shin. We're keeping this leg really active. You could stay like this. If you want a little more, you can pop this toe up. See how it feels to rock side to side. Maybe that's nice. Stay lifted through your heart. Keep focusing on sending the breath where you need it to be. And switch sides, opposite leg on top. Toes flex back, optional rocking motion. And when you're all done, come back to center, send your legs long, give them a little wiggle. Zombie your arms straight forward. We're gonna lower down to the earth with control for four, for three, for two, and one all the way down. Hug the right knee up and into your chest. Give it a big squeeze as you breathe in. As you exhale, guide the right leg across your body, opening into a twist. You can make this be a focus on opening the chest or allowing the hips to relax. Find what you need here.
Bring the right knee back to center. Give it a hug. And we'll switch legs. Left leg comes in, take a breath. Exhale, find the twist on this side. Allow your breath to deepen, your body to soften, relaxing through the face, through the jaw. Bring both knees to center, hug them in, find happy baby pose, feet go towards the sky, grab for the backs of your legs, shins, feet. Find any last movement your body's craving before we prepare to rest. When you're ready, hug the knees in towards your chest. Pull yourself into a teeny tiny ball. Take one more breath of air. And as you exhale, unwind into your final resting shape, something where you feel grounded, supported, and like you could invite a sense of peace, like you could receive peace. Take a big breath in and release it. One more like that, big inhale, fill up. And as you exhale, let this breath fill your whole body. Continue to breathe in whatever way feels best. I'll guide you through a short grounding meditation, give you a couple moments to rest in silence. Draw your attention to every part of your body making contact with the ground and start to visualize roots growing out of your body down into the earth. And as the roots grow deeper, get bigger, start to intertwine with each other, you might allow your body to rest a little heavier, relaxing more fully. And as you receive this support, as you allow yourself to be rooted, supported by the ground. See if there might be some space to release. Something you're holding that feels too heavy, too tough, too stressful. Maybe it's something painful you carry around, something you're grieving. And see what it might be like to allow that thing, whatever it is, to seep down through your roots, giving it to the earth. And if this, this thing you're letting go of, maybe it has a color, can you breathe as you envision it leaving your body and draining down through the roots? Where it doesn't just stay there, it is transformed into something nourishing and good that you're able to draw back up through those same roots, filling your whole body. With something nourishing and 
fresh and supportive and good. And I'll leave you in silence to continue this visualization on your own, just imagining this cycle of draining and releasing and drawing back up whatever it is that you need. I invite you to stay longer if you have the time. But if you're ready to wake up, start to wiggle your fingers and toes, drawing deeper breath that helps facilitate bigger movements. Find a big, long stretch, noticing the space you've created all through your body. When you're ready, with your eyes still closed or soft, press yourself up to a seat, nice and easy. And we'll end with three big breaths together. So find a tall, proud seat. As you inhale, sweep the arms up, up, up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to heart, grounding this intention of peacefulness. Two more, inhale. And exhale. Last one, biggest breath yet, inhale. And exhale. Draw your thumbs up to your third eye. May all beings everywhere be happy, healthy, safe, and free. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks for coming to practice. I hope you're feeling good. Um, I will see you next time. We've got lots of 45 minutes and 30 minute classes coming up. So I hope you find something that you need. Thank you so much. Talk to you later.